Hey gaming fans, welcome back to Fan of the Gaming's A Humble Narration of Katao Chojo. Last time, we met the Loudmouth and the Quiet type, and let's get right back into the action. Huh? Oh, right, we haven't even touched the assignment. We should start work now, or Shichan will get mad. I think she's already mad. The assignment is also kind of long, so we should start now if you want to finish it before the end of class. Waha, that too! Damn it, Misha. Dot dot dot. She, she's quite angry right now. We should work on the assignment. She's an glare at the two of us impatiently. I don't need to know sign language to understand that. Okay, okay, I get the message. Dot dot dot. Dot 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 dot. After class, we can take a walk around the grounds together. It's a nice day today, okay? The assignment is actually very challenging to get through, combining aspects of being both difficult and unnecessarily long. I've I've had assignments like that before. I get you, Hassel. Still, we finished it a few minutes earlier than everyone else in class, despite our late start. Shuzne and Misha are really capable. They're quite different, though. The class rep is as calm and professional as she looks, while Misha is a lot more playful and girlish, not to mention a, a little more easily distracted. Yeah, ADHD can do that to you. To be honest, the two of them did most of the work. I feel guilty about that. The clock tower bell rang, signaling the end of the period. Time for lunch. Without knowing what else to do, I followed Misha, who was beckoning me into the hallway and down the stairs. We descend even below the lobby, where I met Muto, down the bottom floor. Just like everything in the school, the cafeteria seems too spacious and oddly modern in contrast to the classic ex exterior. Its big windows open the courtyard towards the main gate. There's a lot of unnecessary imagery in this game. It's the cafeteria! Damn it! No shit, Sherlock. Her enthusiasm statement, enthusiastic statement, obvious of the obvious, makes people stare at us. How embarrassing! There's a rather large list of menu options, which seems great until I realize that many of them are to accommodate students with particular gut diets. How nice! It almost feels like I'm back at the hospital. Oh no! Piss out! Damn it! You're not in the hospital. Relax. I pick something at random and follow Shizune to a table sitting opposite of her. As I nibble indifferently at the food I'd rather not eat, Misha pokes me to the side to get my attention and points to Shizune. Dot 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 dot. I don't understand signs, so the point escapes me. Maybe looking at the person who talks to me is proper and polite? Do you want to know something? What? About anything. We're your guides, so us. So you should ask us if there's anything you want to know. Come on. Hmm, I wonder. Okay, so this decision does impact it slightly. There's ask about the library. I think I got everything I need to know. And ask Shizune's deaf about Shizune's deafness. How she got deaf. Uh, the first one was rather rude, and I'm not going for the library because the person waiting for me there. I'm not going for her this route. So I'm gonna go with. I think I got everything I need to know. Because I don't want to hang out with these two much longer at all. Misha's too goddamn annoying for this route. I can't think of anything, really. Ooh, that means we've been good guys, doesn't it? Doesn't it? No, Misha, no. That's not what that means. It means I... I got it. It's a school. It's not that difficult. Now I'm doing dot dot dots. D if, if you say so. Misha positively beams, and so does Shizune after a quick translation. Shizune, you know you didn't do anything. You're smarter than Misha. I shake my head at their somewhat exaggerated enthusiasm and shift my focus on the ground, on my food. Misha and Shizune sign back and forth very animatedly, throwing sideways glances at me, but Misha refrains from translating. Maybe they're talking about secret girl stuff or something. Or oh, they have a crush on you, Hassel. Dot 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 dot. Oh, I'm doing dot dots. I quickly notice the conversation inside it does not fill the silence very well. We arrive in the classroom early, but someone else is there. The dark haired girl I noticed before slumped over our desk. Ah, oh, don't don't be scared. She jumps a little when Misha crashes into the room with the elegance of a rhino. Damn it, Misha, you're scaring Hanako. She shriek she shrinks deeper into her seat. I can feel her tension all the way from here, as if she were slowly turned to some stone. Misha and Season A either don't notice or don't mind it, as they walk directly past her to the seats and begin to converse. 
I'm left wondering about her, even when the classroom slowly fills with other students and finally the teacher. Poor Hanako. Getting to the rhythm of the school feels strange. It's as if my brain remembers how it is done, but my body doesn't. Towards the end of the class, I start yawning and counting the minutes left. I shouldn't be this tired on my first day of school. Maybe it's the long time spent in the hospital that made me like this. I'm even feeling physically weak and lifeless. Ah, oh, poor Sal. Before long, the final bell rang. School's finally over. Yay! Beside me, Misha and Susan A are having a short conversation. After a bit of deliberation, Misha turns to me. Dot, dot, dot. Unfortunately, we can't stay and show you around today, he can We've got to hurry already, since there's a lot of work for us to do. Dot, 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 dot. You'll find your way around here, I'm sure of it. Ah, oh, wait. The teacher said I have to see the nurse. Where do I have to go? Is that so? We can at least show you that much. Come on, the nurses have their own building, so we have to go outside. We join the flow of students making their way down the stairwell and outside. The girls pointing out other senior classrooms along the hallway. When we get outside, the girls make their way to the smaller building right next to the school. It's built the same style, so it looks actually part of the main building. Dot dot dot. This is the auxiliary building here. There's a lot of official and important stuff inside, like Imaku Foundation Office. All nurses' offices. They even have a swimming pool! How is that official? It's a swimming pool. Ta ta ta! Don't be silly, Hichan. It's for physical therapy, of course. Um, oh, yeah. That's true. Anyway, all the nurse staff offices are there too. Head nurse is on the bottom floor. You'll be fine from there, right? We'll be going then. See you tomorrow! Yeah, thanks. Bye. Whole building of stuff that has nothing to do with actual education? I guess it's necessary for a place like this. Oh, it looks like a dungeon. I walk in, hoping that really only a quick visit. On the white door on the left is a green cross that text Head Nurse and a nameplate. A voice from the inside responds to my knock almost immediately. I can't quite make it out. It sounded a bit like an invitation to open the door, so I invite myself further in. Ah, nurse office. The room is not large and it smells strange. A friendly looking man turns towards us from the door. His desk is neat and tidy and bin under the table overflowing with used medical utensils, at least a dozen coffee cup rings. Uh, hello there, what can I do for you today? He's young looking and sort of rugged and the dimples on his cheeks wash that impression away when he smiles. Um, are, are you the nurse? He smiles like a person who has heard this very same question hundreds of times. Oh, yes I am. It says so on the door, no? Ah, damn it. Okay, so when I first played this game, there's a lot. I, all I knew were the rumors that there are, are chicks in it that you hook up with. And then when I learned of a nurse, I was like, what the fuck when I got to this? Because of my perverted mind, I thought there was going to be some hot nurse, but no. Of course, I shake off my confusion and I realize I probably should grab his extended hand. His handshake is rather firm and friendly. Right, uh, I'm a new student and homeroom teacher told me to come and meet you. My name is Hisao Nakai. His eyes light up with the revelation and he snaps his fingers. Oh, you're that Nakai! I was just reading your file in the, in the morning. Some kind of chronic arrhythmia and related congenital heart failure, right? He gestures me to the seat. Uh, yeah. Good. I've probably have been briefed by the school enough, so I'll just go over this quickly. We have all kinds of facilities here. Mostly physical therapy stuff. There's always someone around. Never hesitate to call, uh, famous 24-hour nursing staff, right? Wow, this is like a hospital. Well, not exactly. For instance, for instance we don't have... I, I lost his joke. It's stupid. He jokes around a lot. Yeah, it's just weird so many medical people out of school. You'll get used to it. I'm not so sure of that myself. I don't really let the nurse know it. Now, let me just find your file again. While he searches for something on his computer, he shuffles stacks of paper around. I let my gaze wander. It's the epitome of generic, I'd like to say. Beige walls, yeah, just general hospital type stuff. Ridiculous education posters, three times a day food group stuff. Yeah, it's a nurse office. Any school has this. Smiling nurse draws a thick file from a stack of similar thick files. So, we've already had 
have the medication for Aurelia, just remember to take your pills every morning and evening, or it won't help much. Apart from that, do any sports, rash stuff like, I don't know, boxing? He grins at his own jo joke, but I don't. Oh, uh, well, I played soccer occasionally. Alright, I'm afraid I'm going to have to make you refrain from doing that, at least for the time being. Oh, okay. My lack of reaction makes him raise an eyebrow, but really, I'm not too bothered by him for bringing me to kick a ball around. I guess I never did it out of burning passion for the sport. Just something to do. Yeah, soccer. Any kind of con concussion might be very dangerous to your heart. Missing any other attack would be very dangerous. Was the previous one caused by a sudden concussion to the chest area? There's no mention of the cause. Yeah, I was uh, confessed to by a bitch. I sidestep the question acceptably, and he glances at me over his papers with some serious expression. Still, you need to keep your body healthy, so some exercise would do. Yeah, I'm gonna exercise, yeah. Exercise sounds good. Physical therapy's good, but nothing really heavy. Just some light exercise regularly. Brisk walks or even light jogging, jump roping, sort of thing. Swimming, maybe. There's a pool here. Yeah, they, I was told. You were? Very good. At any rate, I'm sure you've been told this before. Just need to take care of not to overexert yourself. He you wags his finger to emphasize the point. No need, really. I've heard this tons of times. Absolutely no unnecessary risks. Okay, got it. No risks. He goes over my papers one more time and sets them on desk. Obviously content. Good, that's it then. Come meet me if you ever need anything. I'm ushered out before I even realize it. Quick visit indeed. Alright. Met the nurse. We had lunch. I'm, I'm done for this episode. There's a lot of fast talking there. But uh, thanks for watching this episode of Humble Narration of Katawa Shoujo. Trust me, we'll, we'll, we will be seeing the nurse quite often on this route. Not in any other route, but this route. I just want to get out of the way. That's the nurse. He can be funny, but he's just an oddball. Not as much as Muto, but he's pretty much an oddball. Um, if you like this episode of Humble Narration Katawa Shoujo, subscribe. Subscribe if you want to see other gaming videos. This has been Fan of Gaming. Adios, gaming fans.